course I'm going to the Zumba class. See you there. If you haven't tried a Zumba class yet, what are you waiting for? Zumba is an incredibly fun workout that combines fitness routines with dancing steps and very cool moves. You will sweat, be happy, and get a one-hour great cardio workout without even noticing that time is passing by. in mind, there is no right or wrong way to do Zumba. You don't even need to know how to dance. You just have to try it. It is as simple as that. I can promise you this. For one hour, you won't dwell on any problems. House, family, work, any kinds of issues are just dumped to the background since your body, mind and soul will be very engaged into the thrill of the music and the incredibly exhilarating power of dancing. Depending on your fitness level, you can always work out with higher or lower intensity. Depending on your body coordination level, you can get all the moves at once or just focus on the leg work first and then add the arms. Since you stand on your feet the whole class, and the music won't allow you to stop moving, your heart will pump, your body will sweat, and you will get a great cardio workout done. As you try Zumba, you will be learning wonderful dancing moves that will make you feel not only happy, but also free and very creative. You will get better and better with each class, and soon enough, you will feel like a performing star. Now that you start losing weight and that your moves make you feel like a million dollar girl, keep this also in mind. Your brain is getting fit as well. So yes, Zumba is an excellent training against Alzheimer's disease as well. You will be learning always something new by having to coordinate groups of different moves, always effective, always changing. This will improve your capacity to focus. In the midst of an array of conventional fitness moves like squatting, jumping, leg lunges, running, abs crunching, and all sorts of arms fitness moves, including kickboxing, you will learn the basic dance steps of popular Latin rhythms. Let me show you a few. Here are some salsa steps and moves. Salsa music and dance is always attractive and interesting. As it says it on the word, its moves have a spicy and hot connotation. Its origin is controversial, but everybody agrees that it originated from dances and rhythms from the Caribbean. The basic salsa steps are front and back, side to side, salsa travel, and any combination of those steps. Cumbias are very sensual. As a genre, it began as a courtship dance practice among the African population in the coast of Colombia and Panama. It later has grown to be one of the most widespread musical genres to emerge from Latin America.
Merengues originated in Dominican Republic. Merengue music has a fast tempo and a steady beat. Its dance steps require bending the knees slightly left and right and swaying the hips both left and right as well. Reggaeton is a musical genre which originated in Puerto Rico during the late 90s. It is influenced by hip hop and both Latin American and Caribbean music. Its moves are very provocative and explicit, and so are usually the words of the songs. Being a less stylized dance, its moves are more free and require the involvement of the whole body. Notice here the combination of upper chest and arm moves with hip rotation as well as the pulsating moves of shoulders and pelvis, thus engaging the back muscles. Cha-cha-cha, or simply cha-cha, as is known in English, originated in Cuba in the 50s. Cha-chas are stylized, rhythmic, and very sensual. While the torso is kept straight up, the hips sway constantly. Beyond these basic rhythms you have seen already, you can also find many more, also from Latin America. Just to mention a few, you can be dancing to bachata, soca, plena, punta, timba, conga, guaguancó, and the list goes on and on. I will let you enjoy some of those moves right here. Zumba has gone global. So music from all over the world has been incorporated to our routines. That means that you will be also learning how to dance Indian music, belly dance music, African music, or perhaps Irish, Greek. The sky is the limit. This very traditional Irish tune that you can see me dancing here offers an excellent cardio workout. Everywhere I teach it, people just love it. I personally enjoy working on the choreography of African songs. I was born in Cuba and I certainly love all Latin rhythms and moves. But perhaps because our Latin culture was so influenced by the African one, or perhaps because of the tremendous freedom of moves that African dance offers, the fact is that African songs abound in my Zumba repertoire. I mostly create my own choreography moves, but I also like including some of the best moves and steps from other Zumba instructors and dancers from all over the world. So thank you all for your creativity and for your willingness to share it. As you continue watching some more moves here, let me share with you some tips to consider if you are a beginner. Use shoes that allow you to swivel. Loosen up and listen to the music. The idea is to get you moving, not to be perfect at once. Check your breathing as you get more and more into the exercise. As long as you are not short of breath, you can try to work with more intensity. Drink little bits of water as you need them. If at any time you get tired or notice that you are short of breath, go into a sort of walking on the spot mood, but try not to stop completely. Watch the instructor, and if there are mirrors in the place, Watch yourself. We always show the right way to do things. Soon enough, you will be good at it. Go with the intensity level 1 that your instructor shows, even though others might choose to follow levels 2 and 3. Once you're comfortable, move on to the higher intensity levels. 
Pay attention to your body. Connect to it. You can always modify things to accommodate previous injuries or add your own flair if certain move feels better than other. It's your workout. Enjoy it. There are many tips I would love to share with you if you have been doing Zumba for a while or if you are in a more advanced stage. But that will take another video. Look for upcoming tutorials, tips, and upcoming classes into my Zumba page www.arianarodriguez.zumba.com There you can leave some comments, ask questions, share experiences, and be in contact with me. If you come to my classes, I would love to meet you, so say hi at the end. Your comments of any kind will always be appreciated. at the beginning of this video, Zumba is a full body workout and is both a dance class and a fitness class. Zumba classes provide a large calorie burn through aerobic activity done with the concept of interval training in mind. Your heart rate is meant to peak and then drop back down a bit. The important thing is not to stop. Technically speaking, the average person will burn around 600 to 1,000 calories in a Zumba class. But as if that wouldn't be enough, there is nothing like a Zumba class to ignite your childlike inner energy. When was the last time you felt that since you left childhood? People attending Zumba classes come out of it excited, accelerated, wanting for more, and so ready to face their days. So, come to Zumba classes regularly, come to energize yourself, and keep in mind my slogan, a Zumba class is always a blast. <laughs>